the Chef Ming Tsai line. Chef Ming Tsai always takes something and he doesn't just make it better, he reinvents it. And that's what he's done with his in induction burner. We have offered other induction burners. Frankly, I bought one, I couldn't figure out how to work it. I see it, I see it demoed every day. I couldn't figure out how to work the darn thing. You will have no problem with this. It is simple, easy technology. Induction changes everything. It allows you precise temperature cooking. You can go way up high with your temperature so you really get that sear and safety features that Chef Ming Tsai has included. Like, look at this. It actually has a barrier around it. So no more, no chance that that pot is gonna slide off your induction burner. But we're even including the pan. Your master griller pan is included at a clearance price of $89.95. This normally sells for an additional $60. Four flex payments, $22. The color choices, we do have it in, look at that gorgeous red, right? Ah, absolutely beautiful. White diamond. We have the imperial blue. We're including recipe, recipes for you as well. The purple has now completely sold out as we predicted it would. So um, what's the big deal with induction? So I've been using induction probably 20 years. And when it first came out, the units were big, large, $1,000. Yes. And made a e horrible sound. So <laughs> fast forward to six years ago when I first got the HSN, we introduced the first induction, awesome. The only comment we got, everyone loved them, was if you hit your pan, the pan would sometimes slide off. Mm -hmm. So that was the first design issue we had. So we said, let's make a bumper. So if kids or older people, whoever's cooking, you can't slide the pan off. The second thing is the display. I don't know if you guys can see this display. I made the display such that you do not ever need to use a brochure. It's so self-explanatory. There's on off, I wonder what those do. Well, that turns it off and that turns it on. Max here brings it to 500, keep warm brings it all the way down to 150, and then up and down by five degree increments. That's it. You That's do it. not need an engineering degree and you don't even need a brochure. <laughs> like you or, said, you could even get it. yours to work. I, I couldn't, I, I bought it, I, it's, I threw it away. I but, couldn't use but it. But the most important thing besides simplicity oh, by design that. is the results. Yeah. What do we have here? We have perfect caramelization from the tip all the way to the tip, which means the heat is equal everywhere. And that is so important. That's how you get a steak that looks that good. And because this 12 inch pan is so large, you have room to finish your one pot dinner for two by cooking some, in this instance, some Brussels sprouts and some shiitake mushroom. Because why, why would you want to use a second pan when you have enough room in this pan? Plus, it tastes better because this has the steak fat coming off. Yes. Right? So it's not just about convenience and not cleaning up, although that's awesome. It's about flavor for the food. Flavor for the food and convenience. I mean, you have 25% of your of your cooktop, 25% of your stovetop that now, if you want to, take it and maybe sit out on the patio, plug yep. it in out there, and cook outside. How much fun is that, being is. in open air? If you have an RV, this is perfect for that. If you like to camp, this is perfect for that. This is induction cooking, but made affordable now, because induction cooking, like, like Chef said, used to be four figures. And it was inaccessible and it was difficult to try and figure it out. Now, simple, easy, we're including your grill pan, that 12 inch grill pan with the lid, no less. Right. All included and recipes. You will use this constantly. You, you will barely use your stovetop anymore because you like the, the precision with which the you can cook. The precision, it doesn't heat up. If you live down in Florida during the summer, you don't want to heat up your whole kitchen. Mm -hmm. You can just plug one in. You'll save money because electricity is, is not only electricity, this uses so less amperage normal plus you don't have to crank your ac on mm -hmm. but rvs you said it camping new york city apartments it's awesome when i do all my events for, for family reach my charity right we financially help families with cancer we always bring these induction burners yeah and if you're going to go to a buffet if you're going to go to a party this is the best hostess gift ever give them the pan of your lasagna or your mac and cheese or whatever it is and leave the burner as the hostess gift plus you get to set it for slow warm and you get to go to the bar <laughs> but can I explain how induction works? Of course. For those that may not. So look, here's a completely cold, it's not on, cold right. pan. Cold. I'm gonna put this on max sear, so on and sear. I'm gonna add room temp water. So what just happened there? So normally when you turn on a light switch, electricity goes through, the light bulb goes on. Well here you turn on the switch, there are two copper coils behind the glass. 
The electricity passes through the coil. It's called AC, alternating current. That's passing through the two coils. Those two coils have, of course, resistance. That's this. So that resistance creates friction, which creates the heat within the pan. So if the pan is induction ready, like this is, look, it's already steaming. It's already that steaming. literally was like mm -hmm. eight seconds for it to come to a steam. Mm -hmm. This whole pan is heated all the way on the bottom. All my pans are induction ready. And if you have pans at home, the way to tell if a pan is induction ready is take your, take your Disney World magnet and stick it to the pan. If the magnet sticks, it's induction ready. That means it can conduct. So aluminum pans don't work. But your grandma's cast iron pan, of course works. Look, it's already boiling, it's boiling. here. Right? And that was what, 15 seconds. Right. So, but watch this. Here, give me your hand. Go ahead, touch this. Literally, whole right hand. Here? It I, doesn't heat. Go it, ahead, like it does, that. I know. Like I know. that, okay? It, it, I always it watch heat. this and I always see it and I always hear right? it and I'm always but like, then put this how back does on that work? Because you don't, you're not a cyborg. You have no metal in you, so you don't conduct. But actually, if you had a metal <laughs> hand, it would I, conduct. I have a steel heart. Honey. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> I have been uh, accused. Let's not put your heart on that. But that's great for people, you know, for kids, for safety, no open flame, you can't catch fire, right? It's such a, and it has automatic shut off. So I'm very, I'm really pleased how we really thought about everything we can do in it that makes it easy. Here's just, a frittata. I love that you include the grill pan, you know, so, right. because I think a lot of us, you know, want something that is gonna fit perfectly. This is gonna be that pan, but you can use virtually any pan, like you said. Any All pan with magnet sticks to it, right? right? And here, so it's not just for breakfast. This is so, you stir, you stir your eggs. So I added, this is just onions and peppers and ham. And you can see some of the eggs is, is already cooking. You wanna stir it, but what I wanna do, usually when I do frittata, I start it on the, thing, on the pan, I boom, I add cheese, I put it in the oven. We don't have to do that. Why? Because this pan comes with a lid. So now we can take gobs of cheese, which I love, mm. just a little, some white cheddar, and now this was on high sear to cook everything. Now I'm gonna go low to like, I don't know, like 200, 225. Now I'm gonna take the cover. And the reason I went low is I don't want the eggs to burn. I want to slowly cook and melt the cheese, mm -hmm. right? And you know, this is what you can't do on a, even on a traditional stove top that you spend thousands of dollars on because you can't get precise temperature. You get low, medium, high, that's it. Right. What is high? What is the temperature there? You're gonna be able to cook with precise temperature so you really get the sear on the steak. So you really are gonna be able to cook those eggs so they're not overdone and dry and rubbery. Everything's gonna work beautifully. The pan is included. Uh, by the way, if you want the red, I am down to five dozen. Okay, five dozen left if you want it in the red. So that's gonna sell out. So can I show just one more example? Yes. You, you, you gave your hand to, the, I, I to it? I did. And but you what? know, I've seen this demo a million right. times. I've done it a so million times. So this is cold. We cut this pan in half. it kind of flips me out a little so bit. So I'm going to put this on max here. All right, I'm going to show you this. So now we have two, two thermal guns. 80 degrees outside the pan, 100 degrees inside the pan. All right, 100, 130 going up, 140. Okay, here, we're, there's, that's at 211. Next to the pan, it's still at 77, 78. Now you're at 225. It will continue to go up and up and up. Where the pan is hot, it's hot. Where it doesn't touch a pan, it's still at 78, right? Mm -hmm. So the point is, this is hot. Right here, I can put my finger a centimeter. Don't, don't touch that. It's not. That pan right there is hot, but right where my finger is, is not. That's why it's so good, right? And so easy to clean, right? Because obviously, it's glass. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it, it's something that, Honestly, I don't know how us chefs when we went around the country to cook, how we, how we not, how, how we lived without it. So here's a steak. Again, you know how I like cooking and plating on cutting boards. Same thing, just garnish your board with your mushrooms and Brussels sprouts and bring this to your table. Just okay. bring this to your but, table. But now is a Why great- Why wouldn't you do that? And a great time for you to look at, at this pan that has been, all of this has been seared and even to the point of chart. Right. So we're gonna so, show you now the cleanup. Yeah, so let me, just add, let me just add a little water. This is still gonna have your blue diamond. This is still gonna have that ceramic nonstick Technolon in it as right. well. So obviously it has a hot pan, right? So let's go ahead, let's clean up the water. But look, look at this. It's this all gone. Out. It's, it's gone. Right. All that. You thought that was burned? You thought that pan was destroyed? Yeah. Not even close. No. There's the pan. Back to new. It's amazing, right? It's just amazing how easy. easy this cleans. But the high performance that you get now from being able to have induction cooking, so you get the pre precision, 
of temperature. You get the safety. You get the bumper. This again, this is what nobody else has this design. Right. Nobody. And and you don't sell this anywhere else except. Uh, can we just right just here. for a second talk about this price? Yes. When I introduced induction burner six years ago, it was 179 retail, 99 today special. Sold out. 15,000, just like that. Right. This is 89.95 plus the grill pan plus the cover. Yes. So, so this is your newest crazy. design, your safest design, your easiest to use design, and you're getting the grill pan on top of it for the best price that we have ever done. $89.95, four, four flex payments on it. Again, if you want the red, we are now on last call on the red. The blue will be the next to sell out. We have about 300 of those to go around. So completely limited quantity on everything. Pan pizza. You can buy your pizza dough. Mm -hmm. Of course you can make it. You sear it on one side of the olive oil. We flipped it. This is what it looks like when it's flipped. Then I just put a little bit of olive oil, rosemary, and some Reggiano. Cover, I love, because again, a slowly melted cheese. This is not a great melting cheese, it's a great flavored cheese. I just want it to heat a little bit. Pan pizza. You don't need heat in oven, you don't need to get your whole kitchen warm. So, we talked about, you were mentioning about control. Mm -hmm. Sear 500 degrees, you, that's what you want for steak. When you do desserts, when you do something like this, chocolate ganache, you want super low, 125. Why? Because ganache is cream and chocolate. If it goes too high, you burn it. If it goes too low, it seizes. You have to throw away both. This is the best thing if you have young kids that you want to just put them in a room and let them do their thing. Give them toothpicks, give them fruit. This is a great way to get kids to eat fruit, fruit. Right? right? And just have them dip away. And the best thing about that is they, of course, can be around and you can touch here, here, here. Look. Nothing is going to burn. I mean, look at how he just moves the pan. <laughs> you can right? touch that burner. It's just, it's incredible technology. It's, you know, and the cleanup is that. Yeah, simple, easy. Portable. That's control. It's all about controlled temperature cooking. And That's why these burners are so good. The portability of the burner, too. Being able to sure. take a 25% okay. of your stovetop and, and take it outside of the patio right. and cook your steaks outside so you're not creating a lot of smoke or anything. And you're just having that ambiance, that, that exterior, that kind of alfresco kind of uh, dining. You can cook out there because all you need is a plug for this to work and you will love the performance of this. You will love the quick and easy cleanup and everything mm. about this today on sale. Best price we have had, including your grill pan with the lid plus your induction burner that has the actual bumper safety guard on it. Look at that. Okay, that's like, Look this at is this. like right? frittata pie. I, mean, I, I, I did put a lot of cheese. I have to admit, I went a little overzealous on my cheese. But is let that me possible? Let, I, I don't let know. Let me just show you what the underside looks like. Oh, look at that. So look how beautiful. perfectly cooked that is on the back side, right? Okay, I went okay. a little cheese crazy. I apologize, but not really. Yeah. Oh, but oh I so love, sorry for that. But I love, I love how it's perfectly cooked and you get that nice color. I'll show you the back side again. You get the nice color of okay. the frittata. The, but and look, this didn't go to the oven. Look, look, and then of course, this. look at the pan. Nothing sticks to this pan. I mean, nothing. Amazing. This is just egg and cheese. Nothing. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. And this is great because if you have company over, let's say it's a brunch, you actually just cover this, you put it on the warm, and when your guests wake up or your family wakes up, it's perfectly warm. The frittata will be gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to eat off the plate right here. But uh, the warming function is fantastic because that's perfect for parties. And look, and if you're doing it's way too early to be talking about Thanksgiving, but when you do do a party, yeah. you run out of burners. Yep. Lots of homes have four burners. You need a burner that boils water. You need a burner that actually heats oil to 350 because mm -hmm. you know you're going to do your, I don't know, jalapeno poppers or shrimp tempura. Those are the things you always forget and you always forget them on the stovetop. And you can't set your stove for 350 for a fryer. No. This you can set for exactly 350, and your oil's hot, ready to go, and you have your water boiling, so you have at least the things you can't forget, and then you sear the rest of your stuff for the party. Think about July 4th. Yeah, okay? July 4th. Oh my God, you could have your July chili 4th, going for your right hot here. dogs, you could have whatever uh -huh. you need hot, uh -huh. you can have your mac and cheese for the kids. Those things are ready to go, and then you just have to grill off hot dogs and pans, you know, your, your burgers or whatnot. Take that apology back, because that cheese is awesome. Yeah, the cheese is awesome, good. <laughs> yes, is. The cheese is so good. Red is sold out. Okay, we have the final 1,000 units um, in blue and in the white. So this is the imperial blue. Uh, you're looking at the red. Don't look at that. <laughs> Although she is. Oh, Brian's yeah. and donuts. The imperial blue is available for you. This will be the next to sell out. We have 200 left of that. 
And then we also have it available in um, the white, which is um, a beautiful, crisp white um, diamond color. So look at that. Right, so this is your... You, your, can, your, you can hear, yeah. yeah you can hear the crispiness. Right? I mean, here you go, look at that. Yeah. So just a fantastic Perfect. piece. Mm -hmm. uh, flatbread, rosemary flatbread, so easy. Here, please. Oh, thank you. It's really hot. But I okay. love how quick and easy that is to do. And this, by the way, oh, is hot. a great base. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> I said, oh, this is <laughs> real cooking here, really real cooking. I love it because this becomes a base, a flatbread of a great sandwich. So here you could then take and you can fold it up like a pita, but so much more flavor than a pita because there's rosemary and cheese and olive oil. Oh, gee, really? It makes the ultimate sandwich. <laughs> if your bread tastes this good, it doesn't really matter what you put in there. But if you do put your three sliced meats or your tuna fish or your chicken, you'd be mm. fantastic. Mm -mm. Pretty mm. good, right? Oh, That's an Amanda recipe. She crushes it. Amanda, uh, I, you are just insane woman. The, it's the cheese with the rosemary, but the crispiness. I, I right. mean, that's what makes it work, right? 100%. Oh, so good. So, I'm gonna make you my favorite pasta. Okay. Cacio e pepe. Again, one of the most simple ever. You, you have pasta, Okay. you have black peppercorn, and you have cheese. That's it. That's Some people it. add garlic. I don't, I add a little bit of olive oil, right? Let's get this on max here. Toast the peppercorns a little bit, like a good amount, like a big handful. Get that going, right? Just a light toast. You can always see it's sizzling a little bit. It's all I want. I'm gonna add a little bit of wine to oh, spread the flavor pepper of the peppers, right? So good. We're gonna add our blanched spaghetti. We're gonna add, again, good amount of cheese because the cheese is flavor. This dish is done. That's the dish. Mm -hmm. And once That's you just it. heat up this pasta, the cheese lights, the cheese will melt slowly. It is a delicious pasta. It is so simple and so delicious. Kids love this. You are gonna have the portability of being able to take 25% of your stovetop anywhere where there is a plug. So if you like to do potlucks at church, if you like to cook outside, just find an outside plug and you are good to go. This is for your RV, this is for your boat. I love it for the boat. Just because, because of the safety issues, you know, on a boat. This is gonna be so easy. Don't forget, you have that bumper panel around it so the pan cannot right. slide off of and it. And we got a few calls, which I loved, because when I'm 80 or 85, and maybe I won't be able to stand and cook, so a couple of people have called and said, look, I'm, I'm elderly, I still love to cook. I sit down in my living room and on my coffee table, I cook. Oh my God, that's right? a great idea. Because all you need is a cord, right? I didn't even think about and that. And then the other thing that I love hearing is people that don't like the smell of fish or shrimp in the house, because your ventilation system isn't good, is you cook on the patio. And people will just cook on the patio so the fish smell stays outside, mm -hmm. not your house. Well, you know, sometimes it's kind of fun to like be in your in your living area and you're watching a particular show and you're cooking yep. while you're doing it. I mean, anywhere you want this to go. Okay, I have about 800 units. Is that right, Pat? Just about eight. 800 units oh, yeah. left till this completely goes, guys. Uh, the blue, it looks like, is gonna sell out. We have just over 100 units. White, a few more than that. 89.95 is the best price we have done, including your newest design of the induction burner. And like you said, Chef, when you first introduced us, it was close to $200, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Now, look at this. This pasta is done. And tell them again, that. if you could, um, what kind of pans? Because we're including the real pan that you're looking at right there with the lid. That's included at $89.95. But what other kind of pans can I put so on here? So any pan that a magnet will stick to. So cast iron works great. You just just a, a pure aluminum pan won't work. So take your kitchen magnet, see if it sticks to the pan, cast iron, whatnot, and you'll have a perfect pan that mm -hmm. works. So all those pans work. But look how, I mean, if you, yeah. could, if you could taste that black okay, pepper and I'm that cheese, in. it's right there. You know it's gonna be good. Yeah, I know it's gonna be good because I can it's smell. Spicy. I can smell the goodness. Oh my gosh. Listen, um, stay in the ordering process for this. Again, blue incredibly limited at this point. And then we have the white available, but that is it. And look at these. So we talked about the other great mm. control. The mm. other great control is you can use this as a fryer, right? So here we have donuts. And we're fine. I guess you like that. <laughs> Good. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I'm glad you like it. That so. is crazy. I love pepper. Oh, that is so, Who doesn't? So, Who doesn't? So good. But look at what these. Fun. So these, 
this this is about controlled cooking. I want to make sure I have a certain temperature to fry. So this induction burner becomes one of your best fryers. I gotta tell you guys, um, you've gotta get this home. You've gotta get it home and definitely try that pasta. Uh, you can have all the donuts you want.